This is the room for me. All right. Um. Good, good evening, good guys. Good uh, welcome to another edition of this YouTube class. Now we have a question here, and uh, we are told that a 600 gram uniform sphere of nine. 0.0 cm radius spins at 50 rem per seconds on an axis through its center. So we are asked to find number one the rotational kinetic energy, number two the angular momentum, and number three the radius of direction. This very question is under uh, rotation of a rigid body. Okay, and from here we are giving our mass solution. So we are giving our mass to be 600 gram. Whenever you are giving your mass a gram, what you do, you convert to kilogram by dividing by 1,000. So this is 18 and 600 divided by 1,000. So we give us 0 0.6 gram. And we are giving our radius to be what? 9.0 centimeter. What you do, you convert to what to meter by dividing by what? 100. So this one is sitting at 9.0 divided by 100. This is 0 0.09. 0 0.09 meter. And we are giving our angular velocity. We are told that it spins at 50 rem per second, which is what? Omega. That is 50 rem power seconds. So what you do, whenever you are giving your omega in rem per second, what you do, you convert to rad per second. Please, one second, please. All right. Now, how do you convert from rem per second to rad per second? What you do, you multiply by 2 pi. Okay. This is 18 as 50 times 2 pi. We say it in as 50 times 2 times 3.142. Okay. And if you multiply that, 50 times 2 times 3.142. So it's going to give you 314.2 rad powered per second. Then, number one question. We are asked to find the rotational kinetic energy that is ker rotational kinetic energy and number two we are asked to look for the angular momentum angular momentum which is l and number three we are asked to look for the radius of all gyration which is r sometimes you can replace your radius of gyration with k it's still the same thing now what do you do this is the first step you take by bringing out the word the parameters now from here now how do we look for ke arrow now our ke arrow is equal one over two initial w squared so this is the formula for rotational kinetic what energy our idea is moment of what inertia so from there we have our W, but we don't have I. We have to look for I first. Once we get our I, we substitute it into this expression. So in order for us to get our K E arrow. And our I is equals to now our I is moment of inertia. Now if you read the question well, we we're told that uniform sphere. Okay, a uniform sphere through its center. Moment of inertia has several formula. We have for uniform sphere through one end. Normally for a rim is I equals to M R squared. Then for a uniform sphere through its center, so we have it as 2 over 5 M R squared. Why for a uniform sphere through one end, we have I equals to 1 over 2 M R squared. So from there, what you are going to so this is the right formula to what to use. So this is 18 as 2 over 5 M R squared. So from there, this 18 as 2 over 5 times our m is our mass, which is 0 0.6, then times our radius is 0. Point, our radius is 0 0.09. 0 0.09 squared. So our m there, 2 divided by 5 is going to give us 0 0.4. 
then times 0 0.6 times 0 0.09 square it's going to give us 8.1 times 10 to the power minus 3 so from there our i will be equal to One point nine four four times ten is by minus three, and the SI you need for I is kilogram meter square. Okay, now that we've gotten that, so for us to get our KE arrow now, we can substitute our I into this expression. So our KE arrow will be equal to the formula is I equals to W square, which is one over two. Then times our i is 1.944 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. Then times our dot the u, which is omega, is equals to 314.2. So there is square there, which is this. So from the half is sitting at 0 0.5 times 1.944 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 times 314. 314.2 square so it's going to give us 98721.64 so from there what we do is to multiply everything times 1.944 times 10 raised to power minus 3 so from there our final side there give us 95.96 the SI unit for energy is in what? Joule. So that's for number one. So the next thing now we were asked to look for what? The angular what? Momentum. Now, how do we go about that? So the next step is to look for the angular momentum. And to look for angular momentum is L equals to IW. So that's the formula for angular momentum. So from there, our L will be equal. Now, what was our I? Our I, we got it to be 9.944 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. Then times our W got to be 314.2. Okay, 314.2. And if we multiply everything there, 1.944 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 times 314.2 so it's going to give us 0.611 the SI unit for angular momentum is kilogram meter square per second why for linear momentum is just kilogram meter per watt per second so the next one is number three number three we have to look for the radius of gyration radius of gyration is r equals to square root of i over m now the formula for radius of direction was got for i equals to m r square making your r the subject of the formula you are going to arrive at this very word formula so from there our i we got i to be 1.944 times 10 raised to the minus 3 then all over our m we got m to be 0 0.6 so from there r will be equal to square root so if you square root this so, sorry if you divide that 1.944 times 10 raised to power minus 3 then divided by 0 0.6 so it's going to give us 3.24 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. And if we look for the square root of that, so finally, our array is going to give us 0 0.05692. So any t radius is in what? Is in meter. So that is our final answer. Thank you very much.